Welcome back to Aerospace Abby. My name is Abby. So today is September 15th, and to some people, that doesn't mean anything. But for space nerds, it's a very sad day. At 7.55 this morning, Eastern Time, the Cassini spacecraft built by NASA has taken a plunge into Saturn and burned up in its atmosphere. Although this was planned by NASA, it is still bittersweet knowing that Cassini has explored the solar system for 13 years. Cassini entered Saturn's atmosphere at approximately 7.54 a.m. Eastern this morning at an altitude of about 1,190 miles above the planet's estimated cloud top. While diving into Saturn's atmosphere, Cassini traveled at about 70,000 miles per hour. The final plunge took place on the day side of Saturn near local moons, with the spacecraft entering at about 10 degrees north latitude. This was the end of Cassini and a giant ball of flame. So some history about Cassini. Cassini was built in the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, in Pasadena, California, starting in 1982 into 1997. On October 15, 1997, Cassini was launched at Cape Canaveral, Florida to explore the solar system. Its first mission was to fly by Venus in 1998. Then it did a flyby of Earth and another flyby of Venus in 1999. Then it was time to visit Saturn. Cassini did a flyby of Saturn and we got spectacular pictures. Cassini then did a flyby of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and Dione, another moon of Saturn. Finally, on January 14th, 2005, Cassini landed on Titan. It released the hydrogen probe, which would analyze the atmosphere of Titan. Once on Titan, Cassini released the probe and also went exploring on the moon. While exploring, Cassini found methane lakes. This was astonishing for astrophysicists. These methane lakes could be supporting life. Sadly, life was not detected by Cassini but it still could be there. After its missions on Titan, it left Titan and went to orbit Saturn and Titan a couple more times. Then after 13 years of exploration of our solar system, it was time for Cassini to end. Instead of letting Cassini orbit in space and just become a piece of space junk, NASA decided to let it burn up and become part of Saturn. This is a bittersweet way to end it, but it's also a very smart idea. All in all, Cassini was a huge step into space exploration. Without Cassini, we wouldn't know all of these things about Saturn and some of its moons. I've known about Cassini for almost five years now, and I've been following it ever since. In seventh grade, in my robotics class, I even did a report about it because technically it is a robotics spacecraft. Everyone thought it was great because no one had done it before, and no one ever knew about it but now they do. I knew that Cassini's last day would come. I thought Cassini was so cool. I bought a telescope just to look at Saturn. Once I looked through that telescope, Saturn, it was amazing. You could see some of its moons around it and you could see the rings. This blew my mind. And so Cassini was my favorite spacecraft of them all. Except for Hubble, that one's still up there. Cassini has let NASA and the rest of the world know a lot about our solar system. And now it is time to go. And the last words I will ever say to Cassini, I say thank you for all of the information you have provided us and exploring our universe. You have given us so much in the past 13 years you've been alive and thank you for all you've done. Now let's just have a moment of silence for Cassini. and I'll see y'all space nerds next time.